Hello and welcome back to the sketch pad pod. I am speaking quietly today because I am trying not to wake up my flatmate. I am going home for a week and I have a lot going on in the next week. There are puppies, um, it is my birthday and I'm going to be seeing family and hopefully we're going to have some nice weather. So I thought why not take you guys along for the ride. I have no idea what this vlog is going to turn into but I am just about packed and uh, picked out my outfit for the train ride back home. So yeah, let's get started. So, a little update. I am back at my family house and I am currently puppy sitting for very cute five day old puppies. And uh, they are in this big blanket here on my lap. And I'm monitoring when they feed with their mummy and I'm very impressed by my parents for doing this for the last five days. I came back to help my mum out who has not been able to sleep a lot. It's like having newborn babies. But I've got Grey's Anatomy, my favourite on in the background. And I am also reading at the moment All About Love by Bell Hooks. I'm really enjoying this. So yeah, just chill time. getting ready to weigh Ernie on day nine. Come on Ernie, heavy weight. Oh, he's such a little precious puppy though. <laughs> 408 I think. But... I'm sorry, I just got to put you down one more time. Yes, we're going 408. Ernie, well done. Mabel, very well done feeding all these babies. Hello, hello. Okay, I thought I'd do a little update. It is currently 11.30 at night and I am making myself some granola and yoghurt with some banana. I am currently puppy sitting, which is pretty much what I've been doing 
since I got home. Um, they are adorable and it's been so, so lovely. We have four little puppies. We have Bertie, Teddy, Coco and Ernie. And so basically my job this evening and the last few evenings is just to monitor them um, and make sure that they are feeding and that Mabel is happy, uh, that's the mum Mabel, and that the hot water bottles are kept warm. So I mean it basically involves a lot of um, watching cuddling puppies and uh, then reading or watching a lot of Grey's Anatomy in my spare time. But tomorrow is my last day of being 20. Um, yeah, so I turn 21 on Thursday. Bit crazy. Not sure how I feel about it yet. But tomorrow I think I'm going to get my nails done. I'm getting a French manicure, which I have never had before. So I'm very excited about that. And then also I think I'm going out for dinner with my family which will be really nice because we haven't done that in a long time uh, you know covid and everything so i will take you along for the ride and um and yet yeah, i'm sure there will be more puppies involved <laughs> shopping but yeah so a surprise update turn of events one of my friends who I saw a couple of days ago um unfortunately has tested positive for covid so um my exciting birthday plans and weekend that I wanted to vlog have been somewhat curtailed so I'm gonna have to get a test in the next couple of days I, I feel fine at the moment but unfortunately this is just what it's like at the moment as you guys will all know and I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty sad about it because it's my 21st but I know that um, a lot of people have missed their uh, birthdays celebrations and a lot worse <laughs> over the last year with Covid so I'm going to try and make the most of uh, the situation and I'm really lucky that I'm here with my family at least I'm here with my puppies and, um, and my parents are fully vaccinated so I'm not too worried about them but um yeah I will keep you guys updated so my mum just said that our puppy's eyes are opening Coco what do you think you want to open your eyes oh maybe a little bit he's thinking about it oh my gosh hi Bertie that is very exciting. We've just had a lovely Chinese takeaway, which was dropped off socially distanced by my aunt, and uh, she dropped in my presents. So yeah, not the evening I expected, but uh, fortunately we have some lovely weather. It's nice and sunny. And I'm going to try <laughs> and um, I'm going to I'm going to be grateful for, for what I do have, which is a lot. And 
tomorrow, you know, we're gonna do the classic Zoom birthday and also get a COVID test. Yes. What do you make of that, Mabel? Hmm? Tampon? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Chin chin. Chin chin. Little puppy. Oh. What's your eye? Oh. Little pup. Oh, look at Teddy yawning. Oh, look at the adorable. Oh. Mabel's like, what's going on with all my children? <laughs> look at her. She looks really puzzled. <laughs> I've got Teddy. She loves that. He's just so sweet. Uh, when you've got a show. Which one's this? Bert. Oh, I know. Bert. 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 Hi. What do you like about Bert? Some days I feel the weight of this world in my hands, in my hands. I hear the song of and uncertainty I think of land in the wind All my plans, all my plans Giving up all I have So it's oh, happy 21st for Alicia Who's got the pocket full of puppies <laughs> We're all laughing because Ernie's put on like A ridiculous amount, 76 grams in a night And <laughs> He was getting on the birthday celebrations early <laughs> He is, he is and um, Lucy's looking forward to her birthday PCR test today <laughs> because, yes, it's the uh, self isolating birthday bash. But we're gonna have cake, we're gonna have sparkles, we've got puppies, the sun is shining, so we're gonna party. And we sound like Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. The basic bitches wear that shit, so I don't even bother. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi. <laughs> Going. Got our nice test receipts. Birthday COVID test done. Great. So just having some leftover Chinese and it is gloriously sunny. Hello. Okay, so I just wanted to do a little update. Um, I have just opened some of my presents. I got a few books and I just thought I'd show them to you um, because I'm very excited to read them. I am quite a slow reader. I also got a couple of books from a friend the other day and I picked up another book which I'm reading from the library and I still haven't finished All About Love by Bell Hooks which is what I was reading before I came home. I'm someone who seems to be collecting books but not being able to get through them as fast as I collect them but that's fine. In no particular order the books I just got is Motherhood by Sheila Hetty. I'd only seen the hardback cover so to see this version um, it's actually really interesting it's really beautiful and I'm really excited to read it it's just basically a book that kind of tackles ideas of motherhood womanhood love and then I've got the scent of dried roses by Tim Lott this has been on my TBR for a while I think I might find it a difficult read it's autobiographical in a sense and it looks at subjects surrounding kind of mental health and also post-war England and so it sounds like it could be quite a gritty read but also I've heard really good things about it and again I really love the cover and then the other one which I'm sure you have seen recently is Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro and I'm really lucky that I got this lovely hardback copy of it um and I just, I saw it in um, bookshops a couple of times and was like, oh, maybe I, I should get it. I kept reading the blurb and being like, that kind of does sound interesting. That does sound interesting, but not something I would have normally thought to pick up. So then when my birthday was coming around, I was like, why not? You've been looking at this book several times. 
but basically it's about this sort of artificial intelligence or like AI bot called Clara who is then meant to be given to a kind of human child as a companion and we think of AI as having no emotion and no sort of kind of human sense of love and relationships and so I think this book kind of questions that ideal. Obviously uh, I haven't read it so I don't know whether that's a very accurate description of what happens but that is what I've got the gist of from the blurb. And the only other things that I will... Whoa! Ha! <laughs> the only other things that I will show you is I got this lovely little pendant necklace and it's made out of recycled silver if i can i will put the the independent jewelry shop that um got this from and i also got a lovely um 20th birthday rose quartz ring and again recycled silver i'm really happy that for my birthday um my parents decided to support some like independent little businesses um so i will put those down You're a pretty little Bobby playing with me. Time I got you do. You do. Girl, you hold me, you're so soft, but how you feel me? How you watch me? You do. You do. Baby, you keep me in your pocket with your keys and with your wallet. You do. You do. Girl, you pressing on my buttons. You be turning in me on, yeah, you do. I like the way it feels to be. Cheers, Mum.